Joining me on Mobile World Live today is Vijay Gunter. Vijay is Corporate Vice President at HCL. Vijay, great to have you with us. Thank you for having me, Justin. Glad to meet you here. Vijay, our latest themed week is taking a deep dive into building the perfect 5G network. So from your perspective, uh, what does it mean to build a perfect, scalable 5G network, Vijay? Justin, in my mind, uh, the scalability in the network uh, comes from density of a 5G network, which has a characteristic of a million uh, devices in a square kilometer. <clears throat> and uh, the speed, of course, is the other aspect of scalability. Uh, the disaggregation of the network is what really drives uh, the scalability. And uh, when we say it's a perfect network, it means uh, the core is scalable. It can support different kinds of edge points, whether it's a edge uh, from a mobile network, it's a network in itself, or it's an enterprise edge. So uh, when we talk about perfect scalability, it scales at the core, it scales at the edge. Uh, those are some characteristics of a perfectly scalable 5G network. You mentioned access edge there, Vijay. Can you expand a little bit more on that, please? If you look at uh, the use cases uh, where you see a lot of 5G implementations, you take an example of factory automation or the very familiar autonomous driving examples. All of these are access edge points. And uh, the amount of data and the responsiveness for action is in a few milliseconds for these applications, uh, whether we are driving or we are trying to run a fully automated plant, the feedback cycle needs to be really short and uh, the action uh, that's required is in a few milliseconds. And uh, that is what we mean by an access edge, uh, which is uh, at the end point driving the data into the network and getting the feedback to take actions applications being uh, preventive uh, uh, maintenance of network of uh, uh, factory automation examples or uh, responsiveness to automated uh, driving autonomous driving situations now when we look at building the perfect 5g network vj one of the most important things is cost of course um, with softwareization and, and commodity hardware we're likely to see a reduction in capex but there's a school of thought out there as well that says we're going to actually see an increase in opex and total cost of ownership what's your view on this vj i think the capex point of view uh, everybody agrees uh, is going to be reduced uh, because we're going to use a lot of white boxes and then uh, software uh, which takes up a lot of functionality hence our uh, dependence on uh, uh, proprietary hardware uh, is going to be much lesser so that's what essentially drives uh, the capex down when you think about the opex uh, in the short term i expect opex to increase uh, the opex will increase because uh, you will have different providers providing different parts of the network elements and uh, the network functionality, the VNFs. Uh, so in those cases, there's a whole lot of integration effort that goes in and testing validation effort that goes in. Uh, there are many players who bring different components. Uh, we believe that uh, in the short term, that integration effort will increase uh, the operational expenses. However, as uh, things standardize and uh, people get uh, integrated systems and components to work well, uh, there will be reference architectures and there will be a set of uh, vendors that work together well and pro one implementations. Uh, when those are replicated, we expect uh, the operate OPEX to drop significantly thereafter. So you will see a bump in OPEX in the short term and then longer term it should uh, come back up to the original levels. BJ, you, you hinted and touched on there uh, a changing equipment markets. Uh, interested to get your thoughts on how you see the mobile network kit market playing out. Of course, uh, you've got traditional OEMs like Nokia, Samsung, Ericsson, and you've got new emerging players, Microsoft, Qualcomm, Intel, uh, VMware, Red Hat, etc. And of course, you've got the startups, um, players like Autostar, Mavenir. How do you see the equipment market panning out in the next 
12 to 24 months. Justin, I see that uh, the new players have a lot of scope for innovation and disrupting the market. And uh, they will have a play because of the disaggregation that's happening in the market. And each of the players, uh, like a Mavernir or uh, uh, Aldiostar, will innovate in their areas. And uh, there will be a play for the existing players uh, who have been there at Nokia Ericsson's of the world, where there's an integrated play and a full stack, well integrated, driving high performance. So I see uh, both of them will have uh, their niche to play in, but over time, uh, the new vendors, uh, Microsoft or Qualcomm, will have a larger play. A truly disruptive market to look forward to. Vijay, thank you very much for sharing your thoughts. Thank you. Thank you, Justin.